This is another song by Eskimo Callboy that a lot of you wanted me to listen to called Final Dance. Uh, I'm laughing here because of the first freaking second of the video. I, I am lucky. I, I, don't, I don't know what this is going to be about. Uh, it's a music video, obviously. Uh, let's just get right into it. Heavy bass. Holy crap, there are so many things going on in the song. The drums are hitting so hard. The drums and the bass are really heavy. And what were those weird kind of like ping pongy electric electronic sounds? Is that, it must have been like a keyboard or something. It's just very interesting, but so far it's a pretty cool song. Wait, is this uh, is this their original vocalist? Because if I remember right, I don't know if Hypa Hypa was the first video where they brought in the new vocalist, but I'm pretty sure you guys said that they originally had a different vocalist and they had just recently brought in a new one. And I don't recognize this guy doing clean vocals. So either I'm just blind and don't know what I'm talking about, or this is a, a different a different guy. But uh, I still like his voice. They put like some sort of distorted some distortion on here I think it's very interesting Dark paint though. So is this why it's called Final Dance? Everybody there was just like at a freaking rave with glow in the dark face paint and then everybody just started freaking dying. So what the heck's going on here? Freaking gruesome. Ah, the wubs. Hey! Everybody's dead. Woo. Okay. 
Okay. Take a really poppy, catchy, trance-type song like that, and everybody's just dying, and it's about everyone dying. Like, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I liked it, though. It was fun. All right, maybe I'm finally putting the pieces together here, so... I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on in the video at the beginning because I was really trying to figure out the song and listen to a lot of the sounds that were going on, but I'm guessing that they brewed this poison or whatever, uh, created it into pills. I remember seeing them hand a bag of pills to someone and then I'm guessing they distributed them to everyone at the party and then it was one big mass suicide or whatever. Really dark, really gruesome, but the song was freaking cool. I did really like the scene though, where it was like a rave with the glow in the dark face paint. That looked like a lot of fun. But the song, very interesting. I'm not used to uh, this guy's voice. I th think it was the clean vocalist voice. I, I mentioned previously, I think this might have been their original vocalist. If I'm Correct me if I'm wrong, but it definitely sounded different, but I, I didn't not like it. I thought he sounded really good. And the song was very kind of fun, very upbeat, even though it was pretty kind of dark and gruesome at the same time. And I loved uh, about halfway through the second half where it flipped and you had this dubstep trance type vibe. It just kind of, I think that's really cool that they do that with their music. It just gives it a whole different uh, vibe. I think that's really cool. Uh, but I, I liked it. Uh, I definitely want to listen to more. So keep the suggestions coming for Eskimo Callboy. This has been a really fun, um, interesting band to explore. And yeah, guys, as always, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one.